You did a fine job once again, Mr. Wright. They don't call me Mr. Wright for nothing. <laughs> Mr. Wright handed me, Your Honor. <laughs> it, like, goes way too long and, like, hmm, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> And it's just like super silent in the court, and you hear like from the other side, like, <laughs> uh, um. "Me, your honor, <laughs> hey, I'm grump, I'm not so grump, and we're the game grumps." I'm so excited. Yeah. And I just can't hide it, Aaron. I know. I can see it on your face. I'm about to lose control, and you know what? I think I like it. Oh my goodness gracious. What has gotten into I don't you, know. Oh! That's, 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 I'm, those are the lyrics I'm so excited. <laughs> that's, Maya's looking at you like, you look so excited <laughs> right now. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, such a, it's, it's just those 80s. Uh, wow, and she slow blinked as soon as you said yeah. that. It's, uh, She's like trying to communicate to you like a cat. <laughs> it, it, the, the 80s just had so many songs like that with like, I'm so like they just like it would get you so pumped up. Like that song from I think it's from Footloose or something, where she's or maybe Dirty Dancing. But Footloose? it's like, whoa, yeah, we're gonna make love and it feels alright. And you're just like, well, at the time I was a kid, so I was like, what the hell is this garbage? <laughs> but at, now I'm like, this is this rules. Everyone should have that attitude, but yeah, just dancing, just I'm dancing. Gonna have sex. I mean, it's that's what it sounds like. The, the lady who sings it is friggin' pumped up, and God bless her. Those are the 80s, man. Yep. Kenny Loggins' time. Absolutely. Come on, Nick. Better get a move on. Oh, right. Sorry. We're playing Phoenix Wright. <laughs> trial going on here. Yeah. We're about to head back into the trial. Um, Maggie Bird. Is... Yeah. It, it's it's kind of like the final countdown. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> it's the final egg. <laughs> All right, <laughs> district court, courtroom number two. Uh, yeah. Oh, Maya's with us now. Yep. Court will now reconvene. Please call your next witness to the stand, Mr. Payne. I somehow read reconvene completely wrong. I was like, what's reconvene? Reconvene. <laughs> yes, your honor. But before I do, if I may say a few words. Poop. Whoa. Transfer. Diarrhea. Tree. Okay, I've done it. Those were good words, Mr. Payne. <laughs> What is it? It's about the next witness. He has a tendency to say things that rub people the wrong way, you see. So I asked that the court might be a little lenient on Adolf Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there is no need to give a preface. Just hurry up and call your witness, please. Yes, Your Honor. The prosecution calls its next witness. A drifter who was taking a walk in the park on the day of the murder. Oh, oh yeah, it looks like a real man on the street. <laughs> <laughs> Please state your name for the court witness. Before I do, I'd like to clarify a little something. Huh? Oh, all right, go ahead. Just now, you introduced my wonderful self to the court, correct? Perhaps as a drifter who was taking a walk, when in fact, I was taking a shit. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> While walking. <laughs> Oh, I guess you could say I was leaving a shit, but I will not stand for that now that you've tinted the court's eyes and colored me wrongly. Sure, I suppose calling a- whoa, but to give an inch- well, uh, Aaron, what's happening? I'm not doing it. I, I'm merely looking for that perfect time not trying to be able to- I have a rigorous selection process with serious story. Yes, yes, I understand. I'm very sorry. I will be more careful from now on. What is he? A human chatterbox? Bow wow wow. <laughs> I have to question him. That's right. Norwegian singer him. I don't know if he's from Norway. Fashion, cars, women, glasses, and of course, university. First rates only need apply. I don't understand the words that were just said. Glasses, but you aren't. What the hell? Glasses, but you aren't wearing glasses. No shit! <laughs> That's enough. Your name, witness. Uh, uh, uh. Ascot Dave. <laughs> oh, is that how you want to play this? Using your power and influence to keep the young people down. I see how you work now. This guy did it. Absolutely. <laughs> He's the one who hit you with the fire extinguisher. Yeah. 
You old people and your dirty tricks, you thought you had me, but you thought wrong. I Don't, thought I had him, but I didn't. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Oh, man. I forgive you. All right, I suppose I can tell you my name. I am Richard Wellington, the drifting virtuoso, with a PhD in drifting, as it were. Oh what my the fuck? God. If you wanted to, you could call me a university student in transit. Good, uh, Mr. Wellington. On the day of the murder, you were taking a herb <laughs> strolling through the park, are you correct? You were taking a hot, steamy uh, stroll. <laughs> Please, you can, you're among friends here. You can say wide, flat, stinkum. <laughs> it would appear that you are attached to that word, if you must, then by all means. But I remind you that I am in no way a prepubescent boy out on a walk with mommy. I feel like I've revealed too much about myself by saying, Anyway, please testify to this court what you saw during your walk through the park. Glad you asked, mommy. So you said it again. <laughs> Taking a walk, you know you... What you witnessed will do, Mr. Wellington. I love your beef, by the way. Yeah. What I saw that day. <laughs> by Maurice Sindak. By Mr. Wellington. <laughs> I, was, I know, seriously. I was at the park all day, deep in thought about my life situation. I don't remember the time all that well, but I do believe it was past 6 p.m. All of a sudden, a police officer falls from above, right in front of my eyes. Oh! <laughs> Without a thought, I looked up, and there I met the eyes of a charming young lady. Murderer. <laughs> she was distressed for some reason. <laughs> of course, I remember her sweet face. It was that of the pretty defendant there. The only other thing I saw was the banana that fell with the police officer. I slipped on it in a Looney Tunes fashion. <laughs> Hmm, <laughs> that was certainly a decisive testimony. Decisive? Nick, did you hear what he just said? Yeah. <laughs> we, we can trap him by painting what looks like a tunnel on a wall, <laughs> and he'll think he'll, it's a tunnel and he'll run right into the wall. <laughs> That's all you have to say? How can you be so calm? Well, the crazy thing is, an actual train then will come out of the tunnel that we painted on the wall. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's strange. My mind is very calm and clear. Maybe it's because I post not clarity. <laughs> Believe in my client. <laughs> you mean Maggie? Y yes. And if she really is innocent, then that can only mean one thing. I've entered my refractory period. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is lying. You may now question the witness, Mr. Wright. Oh. Is it or is it not true that you are lying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll find out the truth no matter how well you craft your lies. What I saw that day. A Bunch of Lies by Dave Wellington. Objection! He said lies! Uh, okay, hold on. Um, I was at the park all afternoon, deep in thought about my life situation. 628. Okay, that, that is accurate to what yep. he said. Uh, victim fell from the walking path. I mean, I would assume it would have to do with his glasses, right? Uh, the piece of nearsighted lenses were found nearby? Yeah, if he was nearsighted, then how would he be able to see her? from where he was. But that's going one step further because we haven't said that these are his glasses, have they? Right. I would just assume they were because if he was the only person near the body and the guy fell on glasses that yeah. weren't his. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't remember the time all that well, but I do believe it was past 6 p.m. All right. All of a sudden, a police officer falls from above right in front of my eyes. Your glasses wearing eyes? <laughs> Without a thought, I looked up and there I met the eyes of a charming young lady. Of course, I remember her sweet face. It was that her pretty defense there. Okay. Uh, let's press a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Are you sure she's pretty? <laughs> <laughs> so you're sure you're not mistaken? Please, don't confuse your pitiful train wreck of a life with mine. Have you seen these lashes? Yeah. I'm a drifter. <laughs> I'm what you call a famous brand name product, while you are only a cheap imitation. There's no way someone as magnificent as myself could have made a mistake. 
This is how people talk. Of course, of course. God, he's magnificent. Oh, ho, 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 of course. Did you notice anything else of interest, witness? Uh, yeah. The only other thing I saw was the banana that fell with the police officer. What's a banana? The no, he's thinking the glove. Yeah. Well, it was actually more than just one. More like a bunch of bananas, yeah! Yeah! Now what would a bunch of bananas be doing there? Come, Mr. Tallyman. <laughs> Tally me bananas. And why would I know such a thing? I'm only telling you what I saw. That's really strange! There was six foot, seven foot, eight foot bunch. <laughs> and daylight started to come <laughs> at 6.30 p.m. So me wanted to go home. <laughs> Maggie never mentioned anything about a bunch of bananas. That's it, Nick. He's got to be lying about the bananas. I just run up and grab him by the neck. You're lying about the bananas. <laughs> you didn't see a bunch of bananas, did you? <laughs> did you? It could be, but... He there's, didn't fucking see the bananas clearly because he freaking nearsighted. There's no reason for him to lie about there being bananas at the crime scene. And what if it's not a lie? What if there really were bananas? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe he thought he was seeing one thing, but it was something else. If he mistook something else for a bunch of bananas, then that would be an inaccuracy. I think Phoenix thinks. <laughs> what exactly looked like a bunch of bananas? Yeah. If you get it wrong, it's your potassium on the line. <laughs> Your potassium. <laughs> yeah. You. If my client is innocent, there's no way he could have seen what he says he did. Cause bananas prove innocence. Which means if we can somehow show he's lying. Yeah, that's exactly what we need to do. God, you're so smart. She's right. She's got a sharp mind. But I just wish I could remember who she is. I love you, banana princess. <laughs> is everything okay, Nick? You talking to me? Wait, wasn't she dead? What? No, no, it's her sister. Oh. Mia. Mia. Mia died, like, right away. Okay. Got it. Right in front of my eyes. Bananas! This kid fucking... This is fucking banana. Maybe he just saw his hair. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. You, the, a lock of your own hair just drifted in front of your eyes. <laughs> Your hair is stupid. <laughs> You're Mr. Wellington. I believe I have the bananas you saw right here. Ah, uh, so you knew about the bananas too. Why didn't you say so earlier? You <laughs> stupid banana hiding bitch. But don't think you can use this as a way to pull more information out of me. And that's where you'd be wrong. <laughs> Mr. Wright? What is the meaning of this? Why do you have so many bananas? Why have you fashioned those bananas into a mitt? <laughs> Isn't that the baseball glove? Uh, <laughs> what? A baseball glove? Doesn't it look delicious? Care for a bite? <laughs> the, that's... That's not... It's a... No! Your Honor, I think this proves one very important fact. This glove looks like bananas. He knows <laughs> nothing about baseball. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, just how bad are your eyes? Huh? How? Oh, what? You, why are you asking me about this all of a sudden? Your Honor, it is very simple to mistake a glove for a bunch of bananas. I mean, I did. I mean, that's why everyone's sweating right now. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Objection overruled. <laughs> no, those are fucking No, bananas. no, I'm fucking... You, you're one of those people. Yes, you know what I mean. A banana-hating bastard! You're too used to your world of- Sure, in the end we find out that it's in fact a glove, not bananas, however, when viewed from afar, I think there's room enough for doubt, don't you? No. <laughs> and that is why I asked you how bad your eyesight is. I think- They're I both 2200. <laughs> I, I suppose you're going to tell me that's terrible, right? Uh, yeah. That's pretty bad. I can see with 5% of my eyes. Why are you not wearing your glasses today, then? I threw them under the murder victim. <sighs> um, that's because I lost them recently, you see. Of course, I was planning on getting a new pair made right away. But you know, my glasses are no ordinary glasses, so to replace them... <sighs> How about when you witnessed the crime? Were you wearing your glasses then? His head uh, just pops off. Yeah. How about it, witness? Whose name escapes me? <laughs> you are an unrelenting evil man. 
You're like those people who rejected Joan of Arc and put her on. We should be brave and courageous only be caught by her. Why would you do anything wrong? She was doing good. Shut up. Which boils down to you were not wearing your glasses at that time. Therefore, ergo, the identity of the woman, if you really want to call her that, at the scene of the crime and that of the defendant, cannot be proven to be the same as this witness. She was Joan of Arc. <laughs> Wait, did I misunderstand what was just said? But the height difference was only nine feet. That's a very tall woman. <laughs> It was very possible for him to see the face of the culprit standing on the upper path. That's exactly the height of Lady Demetrisk from Resident Evil 8. <laughs> Step on me, mommy! Yeah. <laughs> Why do I know that? Please don't ask. Hmm. Witness? Do you not wish Lady Demetrescu to step on you? <laughs> Please be more accurate in your testimony. Remember, a person's life is at stake. Yes, your honor. Now then, please continue with your story about the mommy milkers and whatnot. <laughs> please tell the court what happened next to the moment after you witnessed the crime. <laughs> what happened next by unraveling murderer? <laughs> the girl on the upper path ran away as soon as she realized I was there. After that, I immediately called the police station to report the crime. I've pulled it together, as you can see. It must have been 6.45 when I made the call. Okay. That's if close. I saw I... it. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. They must have a lot of free time on their hands since they showed up within 10 minutes. Okay. Mm. You say you called them right away? I don't know. So the person who was on the upper path saw you and then they ran away. Yes, uh, that is correct. That is correct. Which is why even someone without a superior brain like mine can understand that that girl is the murderer. That girl. You may question the witness now, Mr. Wright. If you want to look like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a the girl in the upper path ran away as soon as she realized I was there. After that, I immediately called the police station to report the crime. Immediately. Yes. Must have been 645. All right, All so there right. you go. No! Do you or do you not have amazing looking butt cheeks? <laughs> Wait, sorry, wrong question. I, just like I, I, had a couple, yeah, I had a couple <laughs> things written down here. I read the wrong one. <laughs> Mr. Wellington, would you please take a look at this? You mean the victim's autopsy report? Shut up! I wanted to know if he thought it was bananas or not. <laughs> <laughs> According to this, the murder occurred at 6.28 p.m. According to this autopsy report, he's dead. <laughs> so what of it? You said that you called the police immediately after the murder took place. However, by the time you had called the police, it was already 6.45 p.m. That's a lot of time! There is clearly a 15-minute gap here! Do you deny it? Gah! <laughs> mm. I think this court would like to hear what you were doing during this 15 minute gap. Gooning. <laughs> Watching an entire commercial free episode on Netflix <laughs> of Arrested Development. <laughs> the witness was in shock at the time after witnessing a terrible murder. And Dr. Funke is a never nude and who could resist a joke like that? It's only to be expected that he'd be a little dazed. I don't think he's dazed. Fifteen minutes is hardly what I would call a little dazed. Yeah! <laughs> Mr. Wellington? <laughs> yeah, yes. Explain yourself. What were you doing during those fifteen minutes? I was gooning, okay? I was gooning! <laughs> Cranking and gooning. <laughs> Answer the question. I, uh, telephone, er, I mean... Spit it out. I was searching for a phone booth. A phone booth? You mean you don't have a cell phone? What are you fucking living? <laughs> you and your questions, as if you're trying to open all the layers of a ma matryoshka doll. Oh, man. You, you must think you're really something special. <laughs> Witness. Man, I'm going to use that as an insult to somebody. Yeah. <laughs> you must really think you're something special, huh? Yeah. Witness! And you just pull out like the silver spray shh, <laughs> onto your face. Me? <laughs> I lost my cell phone. There, are you happy? You lost it. 
No, I don't think so. <laughs> Unbelievable. You lose your glasses and your cell phone? What of your nudes? <laughs> and how would you even see them without the glasses? You God. must be very scatterbrained when it comes to your belongings. What? Are you saying that first-rate people are never allowed to lose things? Haven't you ever heard that? Okay, by the right rationale, I would have my own- I don't think- blah, blah, blah. Shut up. Enough. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Oh god. Oh god, oh, oh man. man. Wait, hold on a second. He lost his cell phone? Nick, that cell phone could be- What? What are you talking about? <laughs> you mean this phone Maggie found? There's no way. Boy, I didn't see this coming. What should I do now? Question further. <laughs> Fucking! <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Where's your cell phone right now? I don't know. <laughs> what are you getting all excited about? You seem to be a little confused. I found my phone. I'll have you know. See, here is it. Wow, it actually said here is it. <laughs> oh, I see. Ooh, looks like he's got his phone. And I thought that just maybe this was his. There's no way he could have just bought another phone and yes. said it was his. <sighs> well then, I think we've cleared this issue up. At the time of the murder, the witness did not have a cell phone because he had lost it. Therefore, the delay in his call was caused by his search for a phone booth. I'm doing it again. Mm. Well, that's the gist of it. I guess you could put it that way and leave it at that. That is, if you don't want to solve the murder. <laughs> Do you have any further questions, Mr. Wright? Um. She got in contact with its owner, but they never showed. Hmm. This list of numbers. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll hold this. Your Honor, the witness's testimony does not make any sense. I don't believe that there was ever a need for the witness to search for a phone. How dare you interrupt my gooning? <laughs> you can't just make outrageous claims like that. You don't have some sort of proof. You do have some sort of proof, don't you? <laughs> sure, yeah, of course. <laughs> Starting now, uh... This evidence should be good enough, I think. All right, let's have this proof, you say, then? Please present proof that the witness had no siege for- uh, Okay, yeah, show the phone. It's very simple. This is the evidence that backs up my claim. And yet again, you have presented this court with an obtuse, meaningless item. Fuck. Huh? Oh. It's obtuse and meaningless? I don't get you at all, Nick! First you're confused and strange, <laughs> and then you're so confused! <laughs> Why do you think you wouldn't need to look for a phone in the first place? Well, that's because I was looking at the evidence and it just hit me. I thought, hey, he really didn't have to look for a phone. Then why don't you hurry up and present that piece of evidence? Hmm. Hmm. What was that piece of evidence again? Okay. There's a phone There's booth, a right, phone next booth this. right there. Yeah. Oh, uh, we are silly goose geeses. <laughs> All right, let's have this proof then. Please present proof that the witness had no need to search for a public phone booth. Like the picture that is circulated through this whole court and we've all seen. <laughs> it's quite simple, actually. Please take a look at this. At the crime scene photo? Is there a problem with it? Oh, there's nothing wrong with the picture. But if you don't understand my logic after looking at it, something is wrong with you. No! It's... it's... a phone booth. That, that is, is correct. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> All the defendant had to do was walk three steps. And become Superman. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe four. Mr. Wellington, why did you not use the phone that was right in front of you? Are you stupid? <laughs> this guy must be stupid. Yeah. Order! Order! This guy's stupid. <laughs> what does reporting the crime a little late prove for the defense? Fucking Dude, shut up! Have you not been paying attention? <laughs> Alright. The witness can't explain what he was doing for those 15 minutes. That is reason enough to throw the suspicion on his testimony. Yes, this is very true. What do you have to say for yourself, witness? Um... Then 
I bet his phone, this phone really is his, Nick. He, he must have killed Dustin to get his phone back. Sorry, I called you like a fucking idiot before. <laughs> That's okay. But Maggie said that she was going to return it to him. So there was no reason for him to kill for it. And on top of that, the ice cream. <laughs> we still have the phone she found anyway. Hmm. But if he wasn't looking for his cell phone, maybe he was looking for something else. Was he... <laughs> Mr. Wright. Yes, your honor. Do you have any thoughts you would like to share with the court? Can you offer an explanation as to what the witness was doing during those 15 minutes? Glasses. He was looking for Pro his Yeah, glasses. looking for his glasses. I think so. Yes. There is only one possible explanation. He was beating that guy to death with these glasses. <laughs> All right, let's hear your explanation. However, be forewarned that if your explanation is not persuasive... I'll kill you. Yeah. <laughs> and they'll never find me. <laughs> you will be penalized. Think carefully before you present, Mr. Wright. Yes, your honor. Urk, I probably shouldn't have said there was only one possibility. Okay. Please present- okay. Why didn't the witness call the police right away? Cause his fucking glasses were all over the ground. Mr. Wellington. What? Don't do that. You almost gave me a heart attack. These are your glasses, aren't they? Uh, where- where did you find- Gah! I believe the court all heard what you just confessed to. And I'll slap as many tables as I have to, yeah. to make them understand. Even though you didn't exactly say that they were yours, that these glasses are in fact yours. <laughs> I'll tell you where they were found, Mr. Wellington. Oh my ass. <laughs> these glasses were found under the victim's body. Under the victim's body? Maya, your eyes! Where have they gone? <laughs> <laughs> order! Order! Now, wait a second! Hold on! I didn't confess or confirm anything! Mr. Wellington, is it true that you are a city in New Zealand? No! <laughs> <laughs> your Honor, I think the answer is quite clear here. Not clear enough for this guy to see, though. <laughs> As he fell, Dustin Prince grabbed the culprit's glasses. To try to break his fall. The culprit knew that he had to find his glasses and search frantically for them. What he didn't realize was that they were under the victim's body. And that is why it took him 15 minutes to make that call. The glasses were hatching! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, are you... Are you indicting the witness as the real murderer? I didn't say that shit. <laughs> of, Don't, you can't put that on me. Yeah, of course, and, and I mean, it's indicting, but that's... Alright. Of course. <laughs> that is precisely what I'm doing. Wah! <laughs> 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 oh, oh! <laughs> I know I'm right. He is the real murderer. Did you figure it out, Nick? You fucking moron! <laughs> More or less. Turns out this cell phone was the key to the case after all. I don't know how, but whatever. Anyway, now is our chance to deep six this guy. Uh... What? There's gotta be another way to say that. <laughs> this is our chance to butt fuck this guy. <laughs> right now. In his butt. I'll sink him in one shot. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> they have to know what they're doing. <laughs> this is so exciting watching you work again! Anyway, I think I should leave before this next part! <laughs> Fucking let him cook! <laughs> <laughs> Somehow my old self is coming back to me. It's time to sink or swim. Everything rests on the edge of a knife. It's time to plunge into this witness <laughs> and get what I need! <laughs> <laughs> this is the moment I've been waiting for. <laughs> Ecstasy! Order, order! We're approaching the climax! <laughs> Your Honor, the defense, the defense is making a mockery of this court. Without any pants, without any solid ground to stand on, he accuses the witness of being the murderer. Yeah, that's right. I'm no criminal. This third-rate fraud of a lawyer. In that case, why don't we look at it from a different perspective? 
Let's hear your explanation as to why you are not the murderer. That is like the worst thing a lawyer could say. <laughs> Just be like, I because I didn't <laughs> kill anyone. Why? That's easy. Um. Uh. For example, there's uh, the name the victim wrote. What about that? Oh, you mean the name Maggie? Yeah, we already talked about this shit. That's yeah, even an idiot like you could read that, right? But we already know that this was not written by the victim himself. After all, the defendant's name is Maggie, and the victim was left-handed. You know, the way no one spells it. In other words, in order to make the defendant look guilty, the real criminal used the victim's right hand to write her name on the ground. But, 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 wouldn't that mean the real criminal was someone the defendant knew? Otherwise, how else would that person know her name was Maggie or Maggie? Oh. That is a good point. Well, he's innocent. Get him out of here. The witness didn't even know of Miss Bird before this trial. Ah, oh, I forgot. Huh. Was there any way this creep could have known Maggie's name beforehand? Yes. There was a way. He was on the phone with her. It would be best if I could prove that the witness had a chance to learn that the defendant's name was Maggie. Now, will the defense please present its case? How could the witness have known the defendant's name? Uh... It wouldn't be this, would it? I don't know. She got in contact with its owner. Oh, yes. Mr. Well- that's you. Mr. Wellington, sorry, you didn't have <laughs> your cell phone with you on the day of the murder, correct? So what if I didn't? When you realized you had lost it, what did you do? Killed a guy. What did I do? Didn't you try to find it by calling it? Why, you? How did you? Your Honor, these questions have nothing to do with- Your Honor, he's doing too good of a job! Please stop him! <laughs> Your Honor, I'm schwitzing over here! <laughs> Overruled. Quetch all you want. Mr. Wright, where are you going with this line of questioning? Where do you think he's going? Come on, man. Do you think there's some relation between the witness's self-murder- <laughs> Self-murder? <laughs> Self-murder the murder? I do, Your Honor. On the day like, the, the super obvious one. <laughs> yeah. On the day of the murder, Maggie Bird picked up a lost phone in the park. And... She also received a phone call from the owner of the phone. Beep. Um, hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can give you the spec. I'll be right there. Um, I'm sorry I didn't catch your name. You can call me Maggie with an EY. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll remember that. <laughs> that was when you learned that her name was Maggie. Uh, um, mm. but you made one fatal mistake. Fatal mistake? Yeah. You killed a guy. <laughs> That would be the problem. The client's name is Maggie, but the name that was written on the ground was Maggie. This is a mistake that could only occur if you only know how her name sounded! Eek! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got him. <laughs> got he. Order, order! But your honor, the witness has no motive. And your point is? It's very simple, your honor. A person usually would not kill someone without a reason. Mr. Wellington had no reason to kill anyone. That is absolutely correct. I don't have a modem. Hmm, Mr. Wright. Your Honor? Can you explain what motive this witness could have had? It's very simple, Your Honor. Are you sure, Nick? If I said I can't offer an explanation, then the trial's over, right? Yeah, but... <laughs> You're <a> fucking moron! <laughs> yeah. Now then, please present this court proof that the witness had a motive. What is this? He broke my glasses while I was killing him. <laughs> Mr. Wellington's motive is right here. What is this? A list? These phone numbers were pulled from the memory of the phone the defendant found. And we have determined that the people on this list are members of a certain group. A certain gooning society. <laughs> you, you looked up all those numbers? Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This, this list of phone numbers was stored in the cell phone's memory. The names and numbers belong to people who are members of a certain con artist's group, known as the Goons. <laughs> what? what? C con artists? Can you explain why these numbers were on your phone, Mr. Wellington? They conned me. This is an outrage, an invasion of privacy. 
Looking up the phone numbers on a person's phone is a worse crime than murder. I don't know about that. <laughs> I should know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're one of those people. You're just like the cops who raided the... Oh, they disrupted a genius at work. Uh... Shut the fuck up. I don't care, Mr. Wellington. All I want for you is to tell me what this list is about. It sounded like he has a problem with police officers. Yeah. You think you, any of you, know what it's like to be a, a refined man such as me? Do you know how difficult it is to kill a man? Oh, I mean, you're at it. This, this is unjustified badgering of the witness. I love badgers. Objection overruled. More badgers, please. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? They're adorable. Why would the witness have the numbers of a group of con artists on his phone? <laughs> he just like slowly turns his head towards the truck. <laughs> Cause he's fucking cut What <laughs> the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> is it that obvious? The witness is... A member. <laughs> Mr. Wellington's a member of this very group. No! No! All of your friends' phone numbers are stored right here on this phone. In your anger, you conned her! <laughs> no! If anyone were to look into these numbers, it would be all over for you. That is why you had to kill? No, no, this is too much. <laughs> I did kill him, her, her, him, but, um, that's not the reason. Hmm, <laughs> that does make quite a bit, does it? It does make quite a bit of sense. Well, Mr. Wellington, would you care to explain? I, uh, I- This guy sucks at conning people. Yeah. <laughs> Got you now. I- I- that- I- that police officer- <laughs> Your otter. I have to pee. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Mr. P. A. In like two hours. Your otter, this- this is unjustified badgering of the witness. I you already said, said that already. Right. You said the exact same thing only a few seconds ago. In fact, you could say you're badgering me. <laughs> Please. Please. <laughs> Please, let's think about the content of that phone call. What? Um, hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can give you this back. Remember? Remember that thing that none of us witnessed and there's no record of? <laughs> The defendant had already promised that she would return the phone. After that, all Mr. Wellington had to do was meet Miss Bird to get his phone back. Why then would he need to kill anyone? Hmm, that is a valid point. What does the defense think about this? Hmm. If you think about it logically, then it makes sense. <laughs> then maybe we should be thinking outside the box. Yeah, if we think like that, let's see. I'M FLOATING AWAY! <laughs> I NEED THAT BOX! <laughs> Maybe that slime ball saw the, something at the crime scene that made him commit murder. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? Uh, well... I don't think Mr. Wellington went to pick up his phone in a very friendly manner. But he was promised his phone, so why would he have been unfriendly to the defendant? I think he must have seen something that didn't agree with him when he got there. Some... Lobster, maybe? I hate baseball. Well then, Mr. Wright, what was this something that didn't agree with the witness? Bananas? I don't know. Uh... It was a police badge, I guess. Maybe? His hat? Uh, I think it's his police hat, I guess? Um... I don't know. <laughs> Try it! The witness saw this. Mr. Wellington, is he correct? G By the expression on his face, I would say that wasn't it. <laughs> no. Looks like I was wrong. Fuck. Oh, Mr. Wright, try to think before you present again. So he went to get his cell phone back, but when he got there, he lost control of himself. Shut that techno music up! <laughs> it's probably because he saw something that was really bad for him there, and that really bad thing was... Well then, Mr. Wright, what was this something that didn't agree with the witness? Ooh, ah. Was it the... could have been this. Right? I don't know. I mean, he didn't know it was a baseball glove. Yeah. Unless he disagrees with bananas. I mean, 
maybe it was. What was it? I feel like it's the banana or the glasses. The bananas? I mean the friggin' baseball glove or the glasses. But what would the I don't know. What would the big deal be? <laughs> You've got bananas! You must die! <laughs> My boyfriend! Uh maybe it's the list of names? Maybe. Oh no. Oh, you know what? I gotta present the cop. The cop? Yeah. Cause she was giving him his cell phone back, but when he showed up, she was with a cop. Oh. So he probably thought that he was trying to that that she was trying to Oh that yeah, that does make sense actually. What Mr. Wellington saw was the victim. The the victim? You be Dustin Prince? Dustin Prince had gone on his date right after his shift was over. With no time to change, he went to the park still wearing his police uniform. Which is kinda hot! Oh! Well, yes, that I do understand. <clears throat> the girl that picked up my phone... The girl that picked up my phone is with a policeman! He couldn't have known they were going out, so he began to worry. He was afraid the policeman would ask a few questions before returning the phone. Like, why aren't you killing me yet? <laughs> If I do anything suspicious, he might run a check on my phone. In his mind, it was possible he had already run a check on the phone. Mm-mm. And he <laughs> went into a panic. Is that what you're saying? Sure. I, that's better than what I thought. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Officer Prince was murdered simply because he was in uniform. Oh, <laughs> I was right. Can we just say I was right? You I just did didn't have the right piece of evidence. Mr. Payne, do you have any comments? I, um, I'm thinking. Hmm. It seems the truth has come out at last. The witness, Mr. Wellington, you are... Devil's fired. Handsome. Oh. oh my god. Whoa. 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 All right. A lot of ha-ha's and screaming. Impressive. Not bad for a person with a third-rate education. My education is second rate, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm impressed. What's that supposed to mean? The evidence, evidence! Eric, this guy's really creeping me out! All you've been waving around and talking about is that suspicious cell phone. Suspicious phone number this, suspicious con group that, they're all on that phone. But who's to say that phone is really mine? Where's your proof? Your evidence! You want proof that this phone is yours? Duh, <laughs> I already told you that earlier. The phone I lost, I've already found it. You don't even have the slightest idea who the phone in your hand belongs to. But you can be sure it isn't mine, you simpleton. What? Oh fuck, he's right. <laughs> it feels so good to see you squirm. Hmm. We do seem to have a problem on our hands with you squirming. And this phone. Whose phone is it? Without knowing that, it's meaningless as evidence. Fuck! Your Honor? This is bad, I can't let him turn the tables on me like this. Hmm. This cell phone. It has to be about the unique ringtone, yeah. right? There has to be something that's overlooked. Maybe it's gotta be... The... Uh... Hmm. I say, we dust this phone for Prince now that I've had it on my purse and have been fumbling around with it for two days. Yeah. I guess the phone's sort numbers. This phone has the name and numbers of those in the con group in its memory. I can show them to you, Your Honor. <laughs> I don't believe this. What are you talking about? Uh. What are we trying to determine is who that phone belongs to. Who cares about what phone numbers are stored on it? Besides, who knows? Maybe you went and added some of those numbers in yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, maybe you're the murderer. <laughs> the witness is quite right. I'm afraid I have to reject the defense's proposal. Fuck! That jerk is back to his arrogant, annoying self again. Hmm, the cell phone. I mean, fingerprints, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I got it! We should check for fingerprints. Fingerprints? Like, Dustin prints? <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Mr. Wellington must have left some prints on this phone. Nick, don't you remember? When you got that from Maggie, you wiped it off, you fucking moron! <laughs> <laughs> I what? You said there was sand all over it, so... Wiped it off? I wiped it? Yeah, 
pretty thoroughly too. Ha 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 ha! And I'm back. It's oh so much fun watching third-rate trash babble like morons amongst themselves. Huh. Arg, you've made a complete recovery. How many times do I have to say this? My phone is right here, you see. Oh, and incidentally, you can't check the numbers stored on this phone. <laughs> I locked it away. It must have glitched because all the numbers just magically disappeared. You gotta be joking. He erased all the numbers I was gonna use as evidence. Fuck, Mr. Wellington. What's this? You suck. By the tone of your voice, it sounds like you still have some fighting left in you. Where did you finally find your cell phone? Places. <laughs> in the store. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Oh, you're too much! And of course, you have no idea what I'm talking about. And you haven't for a while. <laughs> uh, oh my god! Now I remember! That's very convenient. Yeah. No, 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 no. Huh. Looks like they hung up. Ah, oh, good. <laughs> I finally found it. So that's when. <laughs> What's wrong, Mr. Attorney? Why the harsh glare in your eyes? Is it because it's next time, time for ga next oh time on God. Game Grumps? Next time on Game Grumps! Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Fuck! Man. We will see you soon. All right, you. Beautiful man. Oh, thank you, Aaron. Gorgeous boy. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> per period. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One, two, three.